Hey everybody, I'm Pete Collins and I'm here on the set of Photo Tips and Tricks and I've got my good friend Mornay here and he's got some great software to show us. He is with MacFun Software and he's got some really cool things that he's going to demonstrate for us today, show you some neat tips. Mornay, will you tell us a little bit about MacFun Software and what you've got for us? Sure, not a problem. Uh, MacFun Software is a new company in the industry and we create plugins for Photoshop, Aperture, Lightroom and Elements, um, but also a standalone. So anybody with a Mac computer can utilize our products. Uh, the product I'm going to be showing you today for some tips and tricks how to improve your photos is going to be Intensify Pro. Uh, let's take a look and I'll show you inside here. All right, here we are in Adobe Photoshop, and you can see I have an image shot in France of the Louvre. The problem was I was late to the party, so I didn't get the correct exposure in my foreground. And in order to capture all that detail, I knew I had to expose for the sky, because later I could bring it into Intensify and, and be able to bring those shadows out showing you the details. So we come in here to Filter, MacFun Software, Intensify Pro. As the UI launches, you'll see that we have both presets up here as well as an adjust panel. On this image, I'm going to use the adjust panel. Knowing in Photoshop that you have the ability to go ahead and change exposure, we realize the issue of the sky being blown out. So that's not what we want. That's why we've created this great shadow adjustment slider that allows you to slide all the way right, maybe just a little down. There we go. And you can see that we have correct exposure now in this image. But we're not done. We want to add a little bit of color depth by using our mid-tone uh, pro contrast and then being able to offset the selection of those colors. Coming down a little further, I can hit my mid-tone structure, which is going to give me a lot of texture to my image. Furthermore, I might want to cook it up quite a bit uh, to get that HDR type look. And then we're going to come down here and take the saturation out to give us that dynamic black and white. Down here on the bottom, we add a vignette. And knowing that I really want to bring the focus to the old building, the one I re-exposed correctly, I'm going to go ahead and place the center. That's right, we have a place center vignette button that we can place right on the building. That results in a dynamic black and white created from this image that most people would probably throw away. At this point, we go ahead and click Apply, and it comes back into Photoshop with the Intensify Edit applied. There it is, and we can take a look at Before and after. And you can make some extra changes there. It's all right there in Photoshop. And that's awesome, the details that you can bring out. But here's a question I have is, that's a global adjustment. Is there any way you can apply that just to certain areas? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I know that people don't always want to edit the entire photo. Let me show you how we can do that. Uh, knowing that Adobe has great selection tools, let's make a selection of the sand area. Now the reason I'm doing that is I want to affect just the sand area. We actually have that ability uh, with Intensify to edit just your selection. So basically a selective edit, if you will. It brings it back into our user interface where you just see the sand. So you're just using, you're not using anything special, you're using what you already know in Photoshop and it's just carrying that over. Absolutely. So you don't have to learn anything new, okay. What's unique is we provide the function to adjust uh, just the selections that you make in Photoshop. So then very quickly we can come in here, hit some structure, add some details, and that's really what I was looking for to bring out the sand and the texture. So I can quickly apply, and you notice it'll come back to the original image. There we go. I'm going to deselect, and I'm going to go ahead and reselect the sky up here, again with the quick tool. Can't forget in between the arch there. And then let's go ahead and click Intensify Pro Plugin again. And now we have the ability to edit the sky. So we come in here again, hitting our highlight structure, as well as our details, bringing out those clouds and a little depth in the sky. At this point, we click Apply. And you notice it'll come right back to Photoshop, again, only editing the selection. Now we deselect the entire image, and I want to put a great vignette on it. So I go ahead and filter MacFun Software Intensify run down here to the bottom, grab our vignette, 
and then go have the ability to place the center on the arch, the actual subject of the image. This is something I find lacking in so many other pieces of software because the rule of thirds states the subject shouldn't be in the middle of your image, but every other software has a vignette that goes just around the center of the image. Right, so you have to do something to, to make up a vignette somewhere else. This one already allows you to place it wherever you want. Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Fantastic. Um, so then, of course, we're going to click Apply, and it comes back to Photoshop again with all the Intensify Pro edits done on top of it. Well, that's really cool, Mornay. Hey, tell us a little bit more about where people can get this product. Sure, not a problem. Uh, our products are, we're one of the first software companies to put our software actually on SD cards. This means that uh, you can utilize the SD card to capture images after you've loaded the software. Where can you get our stuff? Well, you can get it at www.macphun.com. That's pretty cool. Mornay, thank you for coming. Thank you. And guys, I'm Pete Collins once again for Photography Tips and Tricks. I hope to see you next time right here.